It is a true piece of our city's history, but for decades, historic Fort Wayne has steadily fallen into disrepair. Well, now the city is putting out the call for partners to step in and breathe new life into the complex. And as our Rod Maloney reports, a massive construction project right nearby could finally help bring Fort Wayne back. This is at the cornerstone of Detroit's long history. This is the old Fort Wayne and the heavy doors that protected it. This was the front entrance to the fort. But it's been dormant for a very long time. It's been a mess, frankly, for a very long time. And the city has spent many years trying to figure out how to fix it. But now they feel like this is the time and this is the one that will actually take. Historic Fort Wayne sits on the Detroit River at the narrowest point between the U.S. and Canada, a strategic spot dating back a thousand years. These 83 acres have a rich history. Used mostly as a deterrent to war, it's named for Mad Anthony Wayne, a famed Revolutionary War general. It became a military shipping dock for the arsenal of democracy, sported nuclear weapons in the 1950s, and served as the induction center for the Vietnam War. Detroit's chief parks planner, Megan Elliott, sees enormous development possibilities. Anyone that's ever spent any amount of time here, whether it's to come to a wedding or to attend a soccer game or just to, to see the history on site here, um, knows the magic and knows what special things that we have at Fort Wayne. The place looks very much like Mackinac Island, only without the tourist dollars behind it, which is what they want to cash in on now that the construction for the Gordie Howe Bridge is underway and will empty at Fort Wayne's gates. She envisions a public-private partnership. We're going to be asking for specific plans and uh, financial documents, anything to prove that we can have a lot of serious quality proposals for what to do with the site. It's going to take millions of dollars just to get to the basic renovation of a lot of these buildings. And as you can see, there's lots of wide open space that is used for recreation. And they're saying that nothing is going to change in that regard. So people who might be concerned about that don't have to worry. The hope is they can start it as early as this summer. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. And as the city hopes to revitalize Fort Wayne, it is important to point out Fort Wayne is actually right next door to Detroit bulk storage. That's the site that I've been closely following the past few weeks with its collapsed dock that spilled contaminated soil in the Detroit River just over two months ago. The same site that has been operating without a permit.